Timber! Yes, we got the Lumberjack shirt on. What's up? Alex O. Crypto here. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to the Otter Gang. Red in the markets. Holy smokes. Jerome, why are you doing this to us? Holy smokes. How are we all doing? We're going to look at the Bitcoin price. We're at 25K, my friends. The Dixie is flying. S&P is holding strong, and Ethereum is at 1646 as we speak. Holy smokes, what's the security? What is not? That is what we're wondering here. Come on, mister. What is going on? So we got a beautiful reading today. You know what? They paused, okay? First pause in however many months, quite a bit. You know, 525 is where we're at and what happened today is that they said that they're going to hike two more times this year. So they're just taking a, they're coming up for air. Okay. They're coming up for air in the, for this month. Um, so we still got more news coming on this for the rest of this week. It doesn't end here, right? Um, we got real estate and, and some other things, but yeah, it doesn't look too good. Jerome here, you know, inflation's looking good. 2.34. And that's mainly due to energy, true inflation. So it's coming down, targets 2%, but they're saying they're going to hike a bit more. So we got a 70% chance of a hike in July now. So we're looking at July now. The 26th is our next date for a Fed meeting. So 70% to hike. Okay, so not very good for the markets today. If you look here, Bitcoin has come down quite a lot. The, the heat map for the week is red. Holy red. Red rum, red rum, red rum. I don't know if I can be demonetized, but we're not monetized anyway. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Always here coming in with the announcements, with the updates for you guys, trying to keep you guys updated. We're going to go through the Bitcoin price here and get this off of our chart. We'll go through Market Cipher and all the rest of it and make sure that you guys are ready. Okay, so we were talking about First off, we'll recap is that we were talking about taking this short trade from 26307 and this was over here. Price came up, came perfectly into this area and then it has been rejected. So the trade setup was given in advance if you watched the previous video and now we've come down to the major support at 25k, 25.2 which is an area that we're looking for holding and we're looking for a bounce. So Make sure to not miss out on these videos, set your levels, get ready for the trades and jump in as it proceeds, right? So we were waiting for that level and it dumped. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So let's jump in and let's take a look at the markets, okay? So we had the bearish weekly print. We were like most likely coming back down. So we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this. Oh, let's look at this first, okay? Let's look at this first. The bear weekly, these are our levels that I'm looking at if prices to continue downwards, okay? I'm looking for this area to hold. We're looking for a possible bounce. Right now you can see on the weekly, we are coming down. We'll look at the market cipher, but you can see we got 23K, we got 21,175 CME gap, okay? So we are looking for a bounce from this level right now. So we are looking for, you know, this beautiful structure to continue its way up and challenge the higher prices. But right now, this can come down to here, most likely, probably, who knows, we'll get some more confirmations throughout this video, okay? So between 25 and 23, there is a possibility of a bounce here, and we'll figure that out along the way. But these are key levels um, overall. You can see the volume coming in over here with the golden pocket, I'm sure. From down here if we swing that to swing high yes there it is okay so we have areas of confluence that we want to watch price if it does continue downwards now that it's in this range to bounce off of okay very very important ranges to be noted okay I don't know why I'm talking like this so let's continue let's continue so let's go through this market cipher here let's get rid of this and you can see that we're curling over stochastic is pointing down to the downside, same with the VWAP, okay? These things are very important. You can see how steep the VWAP is, right? We're looking for this VWAP to come sideways sooner rather than later, okay? So 
as we flip down here, we can see that we're starting to make a momentum wave on the lower side. Okay, we've crossed the zero line on the three, the four, the five, and the two day. And now we are looking, oops, I double clicked the wrong thing. We are looking for this beautiful green dot to print. Okay, we're seeing lower lows and a lower low momentum wave here. Can we get this to curl over and print a green dot? and we get a bounce, okay? This is for the longer term time frame. Until we get that, we can still see that we are very much oversold right now and we want to come back up. Now we're watching for this long term indicator, which is the money flow, okay? It has crossed over on the two day and the daily and we are deep in it, okay? We are deep in the negative red money flow. Red, 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 red is all we see, okay? That's why the thumbnail is red, okay? And you can see we've crossed over here and we're bouncing around. So we're gonna look for money flow to come back up into the green and challenge the zero line. Very important to see if we are to get a move or a bounce back upwards, okay? Right now you can see we've had a green dot and then we got a red dot. We didn't even come close to the zero line. We just got rejected straight down, okay? So we want to be watching these longer term time frames. We got a yellow X continuation which to me isn't massive, okay? This is very much on the news, okay? So we're looking for a bounce from this key, key, key level of support, okay? Key level of support. You can see the volume here. We can move back up quickly right through it now that we're down here bouncing off of this key support here at 25 Okay, okay, we can bounce straight back up around 26.5-ish area and challenge these highs above us, okay? We can challenge this above us. We have a square right here, 26K. So this square here, not much volume has been traded here. You can see that, okay? So if we do formulate some sort of range in here, I wouldn't be surprised where we get rejected by the tops and supported from the bottoms. Otherwise, we look for this to continue and roll down and get back into this range of volume where we're looking for price to come to this 23K area. Makes sense, makes sense to me. Okay, continuing on. Continuing on, what is Market Cipher telling us? Well, when we get into the beautiful 18, 16, 14, we can see we're, we're making lower lows alongside with our momentum waves, okay? Money flow is still very much in the red and has failed to get above. You can see multiple attempts here to try and get above the zero line and it has failed to do so ever since the mid middle of May, okay? Ever since the middle of May, it has failed to get above here. So we are looking for continuation of this downward trend. Now the trend is your friend until the end. That's why we say that. So we got to watch this trend here and we can see very clear indicative trend to the downside, okay? So we want to continue to watch this channel, this channel, whatever channel you're watching, channel Alex O Crypto. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And we can see that we are actually at the bottom of this channel if we were to pull this down here, right? So can we work our way back up and test, right? We have this 26 key level of resistance above us and we are bouncing off of this 25K here. Yes, we've been brought down by news, but we can look for a bounce here, which we will, which we will. Okay, I'm not saying just jump into a long right now. I'm saying let's wait for confirmation, bullish divergence, all that good stuff. I don't see one as of yet, okay? So we're gonna wait to see that for now. Now, jumping into the 12 momentum wave, still to the downside, right? Um, I, th I believe Jason Casper calls those pig nipples. <laughs> oh, shout out to Jason Casper, awesome channel. Now we're looking for some sort of bull div. Now we don't have that here. We're still hanging around the low. And you can see here that we have a possible, oh, we're on the four hour possible lower low with a higher low. Now can we get the green dot and can we pop back up? That would be very bullish in my opinion, right? So we'll be looking for signs like this on the shorter term time frames, meaning the four hour, the three hour, the two hour, where we're getting a lower low and market cipher B, if it would load, is printing a higher high or or a higher low right so we're, we're looking for that divergence on the shorter term time frames yes news brought us down but that can give us nice setups for long entries so we'll be waiting to see if we can get a green dot do we have one on the one hour yes we do okay so that's that's looking like it wants to try and rally back up you know that other assets such as ada such as avalanche such as um cardano cardonzo as um 
they like to call it now. Um, they have all been slammed down by the SEC. Gary Gensler in the place to be. Not a friend of ours. But we're looking for these to pop back up in relief of where they've gotten to. I mean, you go over to Matic, you can see Matic has dropped down to 60 cents, right? It dropped all the way. I mean, it's, it's, it's dramatic, okay? <laughs> Pun intended, okay? So we're going to watch here for some sort of bull div in order to continue or push ourselves back up to this 26,000 area, this range here that we have, right? And look to fill up this volume. I don't think we go directly down like we did today. I can see us working back up and possibly rejecting maybe at these lows here. You can see very key level of resistance and that would be right around, come on, 25.7 I'd say, yeah, 25.7. So let's watch those areas. Let's look for a rejection and a continuation to the downside, right? Also, draw that trend line. Look at that trend line and look for it to be respected on our way down as well. And possibly another trend line here to be respected too. So look for these. Look for price to work its way back up to these areas. Let's pull a golden pocket. Take a look at that. And where does that bring us here? So we got this drop to the low and to the bottom here. And we can draw a beautiful square around here and guess where that is guess where that is up to the 786 yeah yeah and we'll be watching this area here which is also in confluence with our beautiful 257 so we're going to be looking for a possible retracement back up to here and a continuation downwards that's where I'll be looking for a short entry or I'll be looking for this to roll over and print some sort of bullish divergence and continuation to the upside. That's what I'll be looking for. I'll look for this area right now where we're at to hold at 25K. If not, we could curl over and challenge the levels below us, okay? So let's stay informed. Let's be very careful with these volatile markets because, I mean, they're all over the place recently. It's hard to read. If sometimes no trade is the best trade, but over here we're trying to watch these markets and trying to establish where we think price is going to go, right? So you can simply pull some support and resistance. There's some key level of support you can see here at 24K as well on your way down, okay? I would say 24, yeah, 24,000 would be the next target for the low. So make sure to add that to your charts as well. We'll look at 24.1, 24. 1, 24 Let's go 24K just as a whole number would be our next drop down. 25 to 24, that's a nice short opportunity if we do get a bounce and a rejection, okay? So many, many trading opportunities here. We're going to see a bit of volatility in the markets tomorrow and the next day. So we got two more days of this week for trading. You can see that the S&P here, it's rallying. We're looking for the S&P to finally cool down, okay? And right now it's like, nah, I'm just going to fly just like the NASDAQ. It's flying, okay? It's flying. It's on some next level things. So we're going to watch it continue upwards and onwards. But there are some key levels of resistance above us. The next one being 25,000, I'd say. Yeah, around 25. So we'll move this one up to 20. Um, to 4,500, sorry, not 25,000. 4,500. For the next one and we'll be watching for a rejection there if it doesn't happen there it's probably where we're at right now so we'll look for that rejection downwards on the dixie we can see that we have come back to the level that we were talking about for quite some time here and that was this 103 area we came down we wicked down and now we've popped back up okay bearish 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 but if we do continue upwards here we look for more dump okay if we continue up to this 104 key level of resistance look for more dump or we can continue to make these lower lows all the way down and possibly challenge the 102 area. 102, yeah, 102 is our next level of support. Okay, so we'll look at that right there for our next level of support. You can see that very clearly on there. So we'll be watching the Dixie to, to work its way around here. But right now we're looking at 103 to hold and for it to push up. Now if the Dixie continues upwards, we'll look for a rejection on Bitcoin, okay? So if, if this has popped down, you can see it actually has wicked quite nicely here and pushed up. So we'll look for this to push up and Bitcoin 
to continue downwards just to build some confluence throughout the markets okay bitcoin dominance bitcoin dominance has actually finally dropped a little bit which is key to note is that we're challenging this key level of support here you know very much fud in the market so we want to be careful and protect ourselves um and beautiful opportunity right like if you are bullish in the long term and you believe like i do that bitcoin will be at 100k within the next two to three years then why not dca today not financial advice of course but look at this ethereum's come back down into this range right we have very like extreme volume here right when we finally got out of this horrible 1400 right and we managed to push up and flip this area to support now we're back into that trading range okay and quite a range it has been so we'll look for price to bounce around within this range and look for it to make its way back down to this 15 75 area point of control of this entire bear market okay so we're going to look for it to continue a little bit further from 1644 probably down to 1575 which to me that's that's a beautiful opportunity as well so we're looking for dcaing we're looking for accumulation of the bags and we're also you know trying to protect ourselves as traders we want to protect ourselves protect our capital and try to exploit the markets for some profits okay so let's be patient let's see what the rest of the week brings for us and make sure to like and subscribe yes it's in the red but as long as you're here we're always in the green so thank you guys so much for your love and your support i'll see you in the next one peace out much love god bless bye